wonder where you've been hiding. I take it Wilf Butler's rent hasn't appeared. Give me a chance. Been checking the stock all morning. Which is what you're employed to do. Yeah, that and strong arm tenant farmers. Oh, well, if you're not up to the job, I could always make it official. I'm sure the bailiffs won't have any problems with their conscience. Well, I haven't got much choice if you're going to put it like that. So I can expect it sorting. Today. Oh, that. <laughs> have a nice lie-in, did you? What's all this? I thought I'd have a bit of a sort-out. Celebrate our first day together with a new look. It could be our last day. You didn't think to ask my opinion. Oh, Rodney, I thought it'd be a lovely surprise. I didn't think I had to ask permission. It would have been nice to be consulted. So, what's the bright idea? We're going to create a selling zone. A selling zone? Trust me, it's a little trick I picked up. Where? Um, on me way. I'll take your word for it. Where's Danny? I sent him out to get some polish. Well, in that case, as the boss of this new enterprise, I suggest you get the teas in. Oh. Now, don't worry, I'm perfectly capable of managing on my own. And don't forget the receipt. Yes, boss. What a face. If the wind changes, it'll stick like that. <laughs> School. My tutor wants to talk to me about the work I've missed. So? So, it's loads. I haven't been there for weeks. I'm supposed to be doing my marks. But they know what you've been through, love. They'll understand. <sighs> yeah, but there's so much to do here as well, isn't there? May as well just leave now. Don't be daft. We'll manage. I'll be fighting fit in a few days. Yeah, but even then... Well, nothing. This is a very important year and you've worked very hard. And I'm very proud of you. And I know your mum was and all. So pick up your things and go see your tutor. We'll manage. I promise. <sighs> oh! I see! Grandad! Hey, you wait till Betty comes back. I'll tell her what time you started supping. Louise around? Aye, ah, but she's not in. I'm not with you. Would you say that pint were pulled by somebody with a mind on job? It'll settle. By tea time. Right, I'll pull you another one. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. No, the inquest starts tomorrow. Do you want me to come along with you? What, so we can sit together and look guilty? I don't think so. Diane said she'd come with me. I think that'd be best, don't you? Where are you going? Uh, ice skating. I was in the grub on, cos I'm starving. I can't go skating on the ankle. Oh, it's all right, Grandad. We don't need to go to the hospital. Danny's had medical training. Well, what's happened? He's had another fall, so I'm just gonna go and take him to get checked out. Well, you should be in school. Tell her, Danny. It's tough school. I can go later. Was it in chips and oven, then? No. Well, how long are you going to be? I don't know, as long as it takes. Well, are you going to be back for tea? I'm a bit short-staffed without our Andy. Thought we could muck in together. It's no good playing the loyalty card with me. Loyalty, that's what I like to hear. Nothing more reassuring than knowing your instructions are being carried out promptly. I will get round to it. There are other priorities, you know. Like having lunch, I suppose. Is it me, or is there a distinct smell of testosterone in here? Some tenant farmer fell short with his rent. Jack seems to think I should be more charitable. Yeah, and what do I know? You're the boss. At least you got that right. Hiya. You're all right. What are you doing here? Have you seen my dad? No, why? He's only been offered that job in Newcastle. You're joking. He's not taking it, is he? That's what I want to find out. He said to me he's only using it to get some more money off Chris Tate. Well, that won't work. He's already laid me off. I know, but you know my dad. He thinks he's too good to be a flipping gardener. What about us? You're not going with him, are you? Oh, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I must admit there's a certain amount of pleasure in having beaten Viv Hope. 
Oh, I that Jarvis is a fancy dancer, all right. I thought you made a lovely couple. Oh, he might be able to string a few steps together, but that doesn't make up for his awkward streak. Oh, no chance of a repeat performance at final, then. I think I've proved all I needed to, thank you very much. Mm, probably for best. From what I've heard, he tore the right strip off Len for forcing him to dance with you on Irwood. Mm, well, that just shows the arrogance of the man. Uh, I think there's more to it than that. I've seen better legs on a Chippendale, <laughs> I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Look, poor, it's a landlord. Mm. Ah, a bit late for that, don't you think? <laughs> ah, just thought I'd give you this. Mm. The new rental agreement I mentioned. Ah, um, you're not, uh, not going to sign it? Uh, firstly, I never sign anything without reading it thoroughly. Secondly, I am having lunch with a very attractive lady. You wouldn't want me to spoil that by uh, discussing business, would you? No, <laughs> not at all. Good. Come round later. We should be there all afternoon. Well? Not in. Well, where is he? Don't know. Went out early. Well, how long will he be? I mean, he must have said something. I need to speak to him, Stephen. It's important. You tell him I called again, will you? Aye. Well, I mean it, lad. I need to see him before it's too late. Do you understand? I understand. I knew it. I suppose you were in last night when I called and all. Can't blame a man for hiding from Reaper. We have to talk, Wilf. Aye, I know. Not here. You finish up, lad, it won't be long. Thirty years I've worked this farm. Long before them takes turned up. The well, time moves on, Wilf. Aye, but you don't expect it to bring summit that wipes out all you've worked for. I heard it hit you hard. I'm sorry. I don't need pity, Jack. I need a flaming miracle. What's left? A load of worthless stock and a pile of debts. Even Irene saw fit to leave. I'd have given up myself before now if it weren't for him. Looks a good worker. Oh, is that all right? Even though he hates the place. He thinks I don't know. Truth is, I need him. I was a mess after Irene left. What all I could do to get out of bed in the morning. But him, he just kept going. Even when there were no point. Well, it's hard to find the strength sometimes. That's when you discover who really matters. Still, I always knew the end had come sooner or later. You're not giving up. Don't have much choice, do I? Not when a state man has just come knocking for money I don't have. You don't have to be a genius to figure. You're here to kick me out. Nothing you could sell. Only good tractor went before Christmas. 
Rest is just seized up junk. Not worth a scrap man picking it up. Well, what about grants and incentives? Oh, aye. And red tape. And backlogs. Truth is, it's too late. You can't just give up. Oh, come on, Jack. What did you do to stop your farm going under? I tried everything I could. Even thought about sticking a flaming bone mast on it. Aye. But in the end, you gave up. There's no clever about flogging a dead horse. No, you got out at the right time. Sold out, more like. Aye. Well, we've all got to feed us families. You should be thankful that you'd so much to sell. Me and him's gonna walk away from here with note. Yeah, well, you're not evicted yet. Let me see what I can do. You're an honest man, Jack. I respect that. But you can't tell me you'll get any joy out of Chris Tate. No. But I can promise you I'll try my damnedest. Look, you don't have to fuss over me. You heard what the doctor said. Aggravated sprain, and that means plenty of rest. Yeah, well, I've got to say that in case I sue if anything goes wrong. Look, I'm going to be as right as rain in a few days, you'll see. Now, go on, go see that tutor. Don't you think I should tidy up a bit first? No. Go on, go on, go on. Hey, shoot, keep go your on. hair on. What little you've got left? Get, get out of here. <laughs> I hadn't realised you started dealing in... Uh... Replicas? I haven't. Perfectly understandable to the, uh, <laughs> the inexperienced. There should be just the tiniest of moulding marks. Uh, yeah. I told you, I don't deal in fakes. A bit of an insult, if you ask me. Now, have you come to inspect all of my stock, or do you want this? Oh. I take it it's all signed and sealed. You left me no option, Eric. Well, there's little doubt that you can afford it, judging by some of your stock. There's, um, there's no price on it. Three fifty. No, but I thought it was... Quite right, Danny. Sorry, Eric, I have a collector who is very interested. Pity, really. Beautiful piece like this. Should be admired, not set in a box somewhere. Yes, quite. I must say, it would look rather wonderful in Gloria's Westminster apartment, but I could only stretch to, um, 300 to? Mm, uh, I'm sorry, Eric. My collector is, uh, Well, I promised him first option, you know. Who? I understand. <coughs> Pity. Mm. Well, you drive a hard bargain, Eric. All right, all right. I'll tell the client a... Discovered it's a fake. Oh, well, you <laughs> said... Wrap that up, will you, Danny? <laughs> yeah, by the time I finish with him, he'll be, he'll be thanking me. <laughs> I brought you some reading material. No need to say thank you. Are there no clean cups in this house? Oh, I'm sorry about them, mess. I haven't had a chance to tidy up yet. I should think not with your injuries. Where's Ollie and that Daggett boy? They never heard of washing up liquid. You're too soft, that's your trouble. And that people walk all over you. Ah, uh, but I always knew you cared. <laughs> I just don't like to see anybody taken advantage of. I hear that Jarvis has been picking on you because of me. It's not because of you. Seth and I were going to split the winnings, you know, for that competition. Well, Jarvis found out, give me a right ear bashing. He thought I'd persuade him to dance for my own benefit. Well, I have to say, I agree with him. But I didn't, I did it for I wanted to wipe that smile off Viv Hope's face. So now he's not going to dance in the final. Well, I'm sorry, Ender, but it's got nothing to do with you. Jarvis hung up his dancing shoes a long time ago, and it took a lot of nerve for him to put them back on again. And we're dancing with you, it might well be the last time he does. You don't have to apologise to me. I had no intention of dancing again. I see you put his lordship in a bad mood again. I was planning on having another crack at a pay rise. Only thing he's got on his mind is lying in his own pockets. I tell you, I can't live like this much longer. It's not what I'm used to. It's not all about material things. It's all right for you. You've come up in the world. I'm on my way down. There's plenty who'd look at you with envy. Well, I don't see them. Well, maybe you should open your eyes. If you weren't so hung up on status, you might see just how lucky you are. 
I'm going out. If Chris wants me, tell him I'm evicting peasants. You should enjoy that. What on earth? Oh, we'll see about this. Sorry, I was just... Where to next? Well, I suppose I could be persuaded to have a quick drink. What can I get you? White wine, please. Oh, Louise, I couldn't help but noticing the reports in the papers about Ray. Must have come as quite a shock to you, eh? Still, you probably missed him, what with that blind eye of yours. We'll have skeletons, Charity. There you go. There was no need for that. you to burn those things here. Well, I always thought you were a few beats short of a rumber, Edna. Now I know you're balmy. There is nothing balmy about trying to save the environment. There are little kiddies play around here. They don't want to be breathing in your noxious fumes. I thought you'd be glad to sit back at the east amount of complaining you've done. Well, I'm not saying I won't, but there are better ways of getting rid. Oh, aye. Aye. I mean, yes. There's a... there's a jumble sale coming soon for one. A jumble? D do you know what these are worth? And what value do they have melted down? Look, if they're worth money, you should try Rodney Blackstock. He's always finding homes for old junk. Sell them? You have no idea. Don't I? <laughs> Doug, look at the state of this place. It's a tip. I didn't expect you back. No, I can see that. You all right? I don't know. Chris Tate's got me so wound up, I can't think straight. Do you want me to get you along with someone? No, no. I'm sorry I snapped. It's one of the tenants, Wilf Butler. Stephen's dad? Yeah, he got hit hard by foot and mouth and he's been unable to pay his rent. Chris wants him out, and it's Muggins here who's got to do his flaming dirty work. So what are you going to do? I'm going to buy Wilf some time. I'm sorry about charity earlier. It's OK. I suppose I deserve it. No one deserves what you've been through. Louise, do you mind if I borrow a sympathetic ear? What is your problem? She's been through hell the last few months. Yeah, and blame most of it on you. Or has that sweet smile of hers made you forget? No. But it doesn't mean that I can't forgive. Look, she's got to face the inquest into Mullen's death tomorrow. She's using you just like she always does. And then when the grieving's over and the next mug comes along, she'll drop you like a rock. It's not like that. We're just mates, nothing else. A plate of chips, please, Louise. I've not had a bite to eat all day. Mm, you can tell you're wasting away, aren't you? <laughs> I failed to see what you two have got to laugh about. You what? I have just spent quite some time clearing away the mess that you left up at home. I don't know how you can expect your injured grandfather to tidy up after you. Hang on a minute. He told me to go to school. Yes, and I am telling you to knuckle down and share some of the work. Because if I find the place in that state again, there will be hell to pay. Miserable old bag. Yeah, she's got a point, though, hasn't she? Come on. What about my chips? Come on. Wilf Butler's rent, as promised. not enough. It's a start. He said he'd have the rest by the end of the month. We made a deal. If I refuse? Well, then you undermine my word with the tenant farmers and find yourself without an estate manager. So you're prepared to put your neck on the line for this one? If I have to. 
Very well. End of the month. <sighs> Sense at last. <laughs> we'll see. Top you up, Seth. Oh, I don't mind if I do, lad. Two pints, Louise, and a whiskey, please. You look as fed up as I feel. One of them days. Yeah, like wading through slurry. So all you have to do is pick that up in the morning, Terry. In case you hadn't noticed, he's got his mind on other things. Yeah, so I see. I'm sorry, I, I was just thinking about the inquest tomorrow. Mm, might go myself. You know, just to make sure he's really dead. Oh, that can be hard to take. I couldn't face up to Rachel's. Um, do you think I could have the day off? You're not going? I thought she'd snubbed you for Diane. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're a sap, Terry. Do you know that? Look, if Terry wants to support Louise, that is his problem. Right, I'm ready for a drink. Do you want one? Well, champagne, if you're offering. Um, champagne when you're ready, please, Liz. Would you get that lot? Oh, Jack very kindly relieved a farmer of his mattress stuffing for me. But it'll be implied not to spend it. <laughs> Are you going to join us, Jack? No, thanks. <laughs> Suit yourself. So you finally got your money then, did you? Yeah, most of it. It's a shame, really. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable when we find he can't pay up next month. Do you know how much graft went into raising that cash you're splashing around? Oh, I'm only spending what's mine. You've no idea about real work, have you? Wilf Butler might have bought himself some time with a soft touch like you, but he's run out of chances with me. What do you mean? I'll honor your deal, but if he's so much as a second late with his next payment, he's out. Do you understand? I understand, all right. And trust me, you'll get your money. And you know what? I can't wait to see your face when you do. <laughs> <laughs> 